ground beef, minced beef, whatever you call that, mushrooms, tomatoes, garlic, a really simple but beautiful pasta we're going to make today. Welcome back once again to how to cook greatfood.com. Let's get on with this one. So let's take a look at what we have here then. It's very, very simple, this one. One can of tomatoes, that's 400 ml. Whole plum, I'm gonna crush them with my hand a little bit later. Mushrooms, white mushrooms, 200 grams of those. I've cut them fairly chunky. Cut them small if you want. Ground beef, what I've got there is 500 grams or just over a pound of ground beef. The pasta, get your pasta cooked. I'm using fusilli today. You can use in anything you want. Maybe some tagliatelle, penne. It's up to you, but yeah, I'm gonna go with this for silly. One onion chopped, nice and small, one tablespoon of garlic, two teaspoons of dried oregano. And again, you could change that if you want, get some thyme in there, rosemary, dried basil, it's up to you. And I've got a few olives, optional, but I just love them in the mix when I make a pasta. I've got some black kalamata and they've got their stone in. We're gonna start this off with some olive oil and we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Fantastic. So absolutely nothing to this one, so, so easy. Olive oil in there. I've got the heat on, which is just above a medium. Let's drop in our onion, which I've cut really small. You can cut it a bit bigger if you want. And then 500 grams or just over a pound of ground beef. And we're just gonna work this in and fry this for about four to five minutes. Get this on its way. Add a few more bits to it. It's going to be done in absolutely no time and be absolutely delicious. So just, yeah, medium heat or just above a medium heat. See in a few minutes. So that's four minutes. It's nearly changed colour completely. Still a bit of red in there. We're now going to add in a tablespoon of chopped garlic, two teaspoons of our dried herb. I'm using oregano. Let's throw those olives in there. Optional, to be honest. You don't have to do it, but I like them in there. Salt, black pepper, and then we're going to stay on this slightly above medium heat, and we're going to go for about another three or four minutes. And we're going to be stirring it quite often. If you wanted, Drop in a whole dried chilli into this, a few chilli flakes, a little bit of cayenne pepper, if you fancied that. I'm not doing that today. See in about another four minutes or so. Excellent stuff. Mushroom time. Let's get our mushrooms in. Now, like I say, I've got a couple of hundred grams here of mushrooms, white mushrooms, and I've cut them quite chunky. Cut them smaller if you fancy it, but I like them to be a nice feature in there. Once again, another three or four minutes staying on this above medium heat. Let's get these mushrooms cooked. They're reduced down in size a little bit as the heat gets to them. We're well on our way. So you can see now that the mushrooms have reduced down. We're now going to add one can of tomatoes and you can see that I've crushed them just very roughly. If you wanted, you could be adding in some tomato paste or puree at this stage. I'm going to put in a little splash of water, small amount of water. We're going to turn the heat down now, not to a simmer, but just above a simmer. And we're going to let that go for about another five minutes or so. Give it a stir every now and then. Okay, I've just turned the heat up just a little bit. Back to a medium. 
That's fantastic. Check that for salt and pepper. It's going to be good for me. Now, get your pasta. Now, I've got my pasta here. I cooked it earlier, so it's cold. I'm using fusilli. And like I say, you can use anything you want. Spaghetti, macaroni, tagliatelle. Anything goes. We're just going to whiz this around for about another four minutes. Because like I say, this pasta is cold, so I want to heat it up. And get some of that lovely sauce all over it. I'll see you at the table. Okay, and there she goes. Absolutely lovely. Now, what I've got here, got a few pieces of tomato, sliced tomatoes that I'm going to get on there. just to make it look a little bit extra fancy. I've also got here some chopped parsley, a flat leaf parsley, or fresh basil would be super, wouldn't it? And then finally, some Parmesan. Freshly grated. And that's it, you've got a lovely, you've got a lovely, lovely, simple ground beef or minced beef, mushroom, pasta, sauce. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, thumbs up and all that stuff, that would be amazing. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so, so much for checking out our videos. Um, we're currently steaming ahead to actually reaching nearly 100 million views, which is fantastic. I think we've got over 3,000 uploads now. We've really been going at it since I think 2012 we started back in the day. But yeah, thanks so much for watching our videos. Please do give us a thumbs up. It really does help us out a great deal. And also leave a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Now, um, what we've been up to, so lots going on. We're now based in Bahrain. We're here for a little while uh, in the kitchen here, which is fantastic. We're having a great time. Kids are really enjoying themselves. We are cooking away at a rapid rate, trying to do this new series called Eating with Locals, where I want to go and eat with different, you know, people from different nationalities and eat their food and have a little chat, see if I can learn something. Hoping this COVID thing's gonna shift don't know when it's going to happen but maybe soon if it does i'm going to get back on the road you know i want to get back on an airplane as i'm sure many of you do as well and get out there and sort of you know see the sights taste some food and meet some people it would be fantastic if you would buy us a cup of coffee help us along with the channel we're not funded in any way we're self-funded we don't endorse any products uh, there's a link down below if you would like to buy me a coffee a couple of dollars or whatever you want just follow the link that would be fantastic that's about it we're doing great and we hope that you're doing fine and we'll see you soon lots of love <laughs>